Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching the last episode of The Walking Dead. <sighs> Rest in peace. Season 11, episode 24. I'm honestly a little bit scared. We you did we did just watch the last episode, episode 23. Um Judith did just get shot. She's okay. She's still alive. We don't know where she was shot exactly. It looked like a side arm or side shot, but I'm not 100% on that. Lydia is missing an arm now. Yep. Um, I'm honestly frightened for Jerry. The entire group is separated again. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a lot happening. Pamela is a dumb bitch, and I hate her. She shot Judith. Yeah, she needs to die. And not to mention the whole, oh, let's just block off all these lower wards with all the poor folk and let the zombies kill them mm -hmm. and keep us rich folk safe. Somehow this is all going to turn on them. This is where them cave drawings. Yep. Not cave drawings, but sewer drawings are going to come into play. Cave drawings, yeah. But yeah, this is where that's going to come into play. What I'd like to see out of the final episode, I would like to see... I would like to see Rick or Michonne, to be honest. To be fair, I would like to see, even if it's just a glimpse, even if it's just something. If we don't get that, I would at least like some sort of closure... To that story arc some kind of closure for that you mm -hmm. know what i mean if i don't get that i'm really gonna i just don't know how they pull things. it off in 68 minutes i i really don't um i've never been so unsure about an episode in all my life and first off i i do want to say something other than that okay um we've been doing this uh series for a very long time I want to thank all of you for going on that journey with us. Yes. Um, it is, we've met a lot of great people uh, through this show, through this show in particular. Yep. Made a lot of friends, um, went on a, a trip to go see where a lot of this is, is went filmed. to Went to Georgia, to Sonoy, and yeah, got to see Alexandria, got to see all kinds of different landmarks from the show. So it does have a, a bigger meaning to me than just the series in itself. We met wonderful, great people. We built a community out of that a little bit ourselves. And yeah. um, I just want to thank you all for coming along. I, I hope this uh, is a good reaction. Um, I'm, I'm a little... I don't know uh, what to expect. I don't know what to say at this moment. Me neither, because it's kind of a somber moment for me. After just watching the last episode and feeling all them feelings and not knowing how this ends, not knowing anything about how this is going to end, you know, I have no idea. I'd, I'd like to see, I don't know, I, I had an image in my head of how this was going to end potentially. And I saw an image of like them having all of their old communities back and like, that new community, the Kingdom 2.0, and Jerry was the new king there. And, like, I just had all these images in my head. And now I'm starting to doubt those images because the last episode made me question if Jerry's even going to survive now. And a lot of people look to be in a very sticky situation. So, Including Judith. Judith being the most stickiest. Yeah, the, the, of you know, obviously we haven't read the comics, so we don't know how supposedly it ends, or even if it ends like the comic books. I don't know. But um, with this being said, I, you know, there's a lot of this I'd like to see, you know, Rick uh, with Judith. Yeah. Um, or Michonne, or both. I mean, that, that'd be the icing on the cake with this. Yeah. But I don't know what to think. I don't think we're going to see him. I, I really don't. I I just want some, I want something, just something, some sort of closure on the CRM or some kind of, I just, I don't want them to just not even just leave. I don't want them to just leave that out and just like, I want something from that. Like okay. you can't just 
have Rick and Michonne leave and go off and then never be seen or heard of again. I mean, or uh, some some kind of closure. Some kind of closure. That's all I ask. <laughs> well, let's... I, I don't... I say stop talking about it. Let's get into yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Make sure you guys come over to our Patreon page and check that out if you're interested in live reactions, full reactions, watch parties, game nights. We're in there all the time, so come join us. Have some fun with us. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. Leave your likes. And make sure you hit that notification bell. With that all being said... Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. The last episode of The Walking Dead. Rest in peace. Let's do it. Pamela. This bitch. Help me! They just knocked Daryl out? Oh, shit. She don't need this shit right now. Right? She'll save Daryl. Yeah. Is this how we're doing this? This is how we're doing it. Oh shit! Oh shit, Jules! Oh shit! Well, there goes Jules and Luke! Did they just bring Jules back to kill her? Shoulder shot? Yeah, it looked like a shoulder shot. Come on. Stay with us. Stay with us. Come on. Negative? Money. Just like Rick giving Carl blood, right? Yeah. God, here we go. They didn't even show it, Steve. You're all right. I'm kind of pissed that they brought Luke and his girlfriend back just to freaking kill him off. Damn. I'm going to sweep the hospital and make sure the others are okay. We're coming to you. You good? No, this is your rescue. Hey, I'm it. I'm <laughs> Damn. Okay, princess. <laughs> Badass princess coming in to save her man. Hell yeah. That thing for Pamela? Yes, it is. Offer still stands, Megan. Good. <laughs> How do you... Aaron's almost oh always getting no shot way. by somebody, man. I swear. Ooh. Yeah, that don't look good. <laughs> I hear a baby crying. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Mama Bear coming in to save her baby. We got 
God, if this ends with him leaving her in there like Rick was left in there. Literally. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah. That don't it's look just good. Okay, he's got her. I was like, is he gonna... Like, don't you dare leave her there. Jesus. There's a lot happening. and the baby or he's got oh they they have the other baby too is racing man yeah i need a minute you're getting too old for this shit <laughs> they they were just about ready to kill rosita and coco i thought that was happening well we've made it 18 minutes in and our <laughs> that's it that's it we oh my god we needed a quick break, you guys. That was a lot to take in in 18 minutes because we're only 18 minutes in. I'm shocked. It felt. It feels like 45 minutes. A lot kind of was happening right there. A lot. Number one, Judith was left. She wasn't left because they got her. But we thought it was kind of leaning towards like a Shane Rick situation there mm -hmm. where... Judith was going to be left, and I'm like, oh, shit, is that how this is going to end? Like, with Judith waking up and, like, like Rick woke There's up? There's a lot of things going there, on. You know, on so there's very parallel with Carl and Rick and and Shane, and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of... There's a lot of parallels happening. Yeah. yeah. And then with Rosita falling, it, I mean, I know it wasn't the same situation, but it kind of reminded me a little bit about when Glenn fell into the walkers. Granted, this was a different situation, but he fell into the walkers and then rolled under the dumpster. We all know that. But this was kind of a similar situation in the sense that she fell into a horde of walkers. I'm glad and she emerged. I mean, she came out like a, I couldn't. She even came speak. out like a freaking true boss, right? There. I didn't know that she had Coco there until Coco was on her. Well, I, yeah, no, I, I know that now. Yeah, yeah. But at first, I thought it was just her. But yeah. I didn't realize that you know she had Coco at that moment. Yeah, yeah. 
See, it's a wonder. They, they rescued multiple babies right there. They got Coco and one other baby that I know for sure. Did they? Yes. One, either Eugene or Father Gabe was carrying another baby of that thing. But Rosita still has Coco on her. They they were able to save two babies. I'm yeah. really glad The Walking Dead didn't go there. And they, I would they now, almost now, did. Now, I, no, hold on. We're not out of this yet. No, we're not. And because, we're, hold on, she could have got bit down there. In all fairness, she could have gotten bit. I'm just saying. They, they, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, she's, right now, she's in survival mode to get her baby out of there. Exactly. We know that. We know that about Rosita. So. She is not about to let that happen to her baby. Uh-uh. So three babies total. So so they each were carrying a baby. All three of them had a baby. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. I, wow. All right. Now, I got to press play, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Well, let me take a drunk because <laughs> okay is this the gate into the community or uh, yeah the, or i or think the the estate the estate that's yes. what i meant yes we can is do it? more and let's do more now, i knew they were gonna we take care of you. they're see they're gonna help the other people the other poor people survive and then they're oh, all sorry. gonna storm the estate all of them well, thank yes, God he's Tommy, there. Right? They got her, Daryl. They got her. Don't worry. Feel it sometime. It's still there. It's okay. She is not thinking about her arm right now. No, she's she not. is not thinking about her arm. Same with Flesh, I know it. No, Jerry about to come in clutch. He about to come in clutch with Elijah. Not for a while. Okay. He's going to do something because Maggie won't let him help her. He's going to go do something on his own, right? You were going after Pamela? Yeah. But what's it matter as long as it gets done? Or can't you just leave me alone? What is your angle? Angle? There is no goddamn angle, Maggie. I am doing this for you. You can't pay me out, but this thing, hell is going to rain down on you. And you ain't going to come back. And you have to come back. So I'm going to do it. I was about to lose everything. I finally understood what you must have felt. I I know that I probably owe you more than this, but I am so sorry for what I took from you, what I took from your son. She's like, oh shit. She's, she's like, I'm not going to let you do it all, all by yourself, but I'll let you help me. And take the little one off your hands for a spell, if you like. She is not letting that baby out of her sight for a long time. Just saying. I bet she can't wait for summer. We finally take her to swim at Oceanside. I can't wait for summer. Satan, can you fail? Uh, what? I think she was bit. Son of a bitch. I knew it. I knew it. I'm not crying, G. I need you to put your shit together, okay? I can't. I can't. Because I'm still right here. Here for a We stop. Boy, 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 
You know what? Yeah, you said she probably got bit when she fell. I hate myself for being for right. being right. Yeah. This is, the, the, this is a lot harder than I, I, I thought. Maybe I can handle that better. And that this is we aren't even not even halfway there oh, yet. Oh man, my stomach is just like. Bleh. I don't have a whole lot of words right now because this is hot pants. This is our hot pants. I personally never saw this coming. I thought there's no way. Rosita, nah. They they got to keep Rosita cuz of Coco, right? Like Rose Coco has to have her mama, you know. It's weird. I was talking earlier. Um <laughs> It's like um, I thought about Father Gabe and her and, and the baby. And I said. I think you even said that earlier, I, didn't you? I did. That you Way, were... Yeah. And I said that Father Gabe was going to have to live in torment because I felt like just the things that happened, you know, from the past to now and then and now this, that he'll live on. And I feel I felt like Rosita might. And I, and I hate that. I'm even remote, like even in the vicinity of being right, but well, I had a feeling that now I now I can probably me. say that Father Gabe is not going to die. He's to live in torment from his past. He he's not going to live in torment. I mean, li he's going to live. He's going to have to live. It's kind of a way, like I, well, karma in. Karma and, re you know what I mean, and pass forward here, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it right, but I just feel like the stars aligned in my head that this would be the because of his past from the church days. I mean, may I don't think that. I, think I mean, does have something. I feel like he's already kind of redeemed himself for all of those not actions. Maybe not in his own head, maybe. I think it's God's way of punishing him, in a way, keeping him alive, to feel the pain, you know? And he's kind of went back and forth in his religion at mm -hmm. times. So, no, I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just, just speculation and what I felt. So, I think it was brilliant in their writing. I don't like that Rosita's dead, but I, I kind of... She's not dead yet, but they, she's going to die. They left enough into my imagination that I thought of this. So, I mean... They had, let's keep going. But I wanted to stop. I just. Yeah. <laughs>